That's the vibes is the hashtag to use at Y254 channel. And today we have come to know to the tech sport on tech segment. And we're talking all about technology. Today's topic is blockchain and cryptocurrency. We want to know the ABCs of this. We've had, you know, the terms. It sounds something difficult sometimes, but we want to break it down. And that's why we have our guest. His name is Keith Baraka. He's the CEO and founder of Pizza Technologies to help us with this discussion. Karib Keith. Asante sana. How are you? I am awesome. Okay, so tell us what you do first. I am, as you've heard, uh, the, the CEO of Pizza Technologies. Mm -hmm. I founded this company two years ago as a way to run away from employment. I remember telling my mom once that um, I'd never be employed in my life because wealth really doesn't come from employment. If you want to get rich and you are employed, you're stealing from your, your employer. So I wouldn't want that. So I decided, let me create employment for others instead. Okay, so you're a uh, job creator. Precisely. All right, and why did you decide to name your company Pizza Technology? You know, Kiskia Pizza, we know it's food. <laughs> so why Pizza? All honesty, it was supposed to be Grip Technologies in, at first. Because uh -huh. honest, my, my role model is Steve Jobs. And his was Apple, so I was thinking Grip. Ah, uh, I get you, okay. <laughs> then again, so, when I went to register, I kapata grip in Michukuliwa, na jama flani apa Kenya, sujia alikuwa na shidagani na mimi, but okay. So, <laughs> ali, 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 alikuwa steps ahead of you, yeah. somehow. So, okay. na mimi nikachukua pizza. Also, pizza because I love food, and it's actually intuitive. Mm -hmm. If I say pizza technologies, everyone, everyone wants to know what that is. Hey. Pizza technologies, what is it about? Are they you know, manufacturing pizza? <laughs> but it's good what you do. So, we want to know about blockchain and cryptocurrency. Uh -huh. Kwanza, people think that you know, when you speak of cryptocurrency, the first thing in Akujani it's a get, get rich quick scheme. So, is this the case before to, to Edendani? No, this is not a pyramid scheme. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a get rich quick scheme. Kuna kuaga tuna jama flani and akula kuwaliko nyinyi wote. Kaini mkijua hivyo. <laughs> It is no lie. So this is different. How is it different? It is different because this is actually digital currency. This is a technology where transactions are done like a bank. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a bank transaction, but it's done digitally. Yes. So, when the, uh, so now with that, tell us what is blockchain, what is cryptocurrency, and then maybe you can explain to us what is Bitcoin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Blockchain, in a nutshell, is... A ledger. Mm -hmm. It is a system with enough power to get a lot of data, put it in a transaction, and send it to a place without leaving a footprint. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so in in a layman's language, it is the like a technology that allows the transaction to go on. Yes. Yeah. That uh, basically the transactions to go on is the technology behind crypto. Yes. So what is crypto? Now, crypto, on the other hand, these are now coins or tokens mm -hmm. that are used for the transactions themselves within the blockchain mm -hmm. circle. Yeah. So examples of the cryptocurrencies? Uh, Kina Bitcoin, Litecoin, mm -hmm. Ethereum. There's a Neo coin. Until yesterday, I actually had there's an African coin called Tencoin. Yes. So Bitcoin basically it's a digital currency. Yes. Okay, let me try to get, you know, to make it simple. Mm -hmm. If I'm correct or if I'm wrong, uh, comparing the traditional uh, form of transactions and the bit Bitcoin form of transaction. So I go to the supermarket, I have my bank card, I, you know, I give, I give to them after shopping, so they swipe it. Mm -hmm. Now the supermarket checks with the bank if the money is there, right? Yes. So the bank uh, confirms the money is there and then it deducts. How many? 1,000. It deducts from it and then in the supermarket. Now I have my card back. So uh, the digital transaction bit of it, kwa Bitcoin. Now it's, my money is not in a central is not uh, regulated by a central institution like the bank. So my money is uh, decentralized, yeah. basically. So my ledger, the the one that you said uh, behind with that is uh, with uh, blockchain. blockchain. Yeah. So my ledger is distributed 
in different machines mm -hmm. that operate it. You know? yeah. So when I'm doing any transactions, it confirms, it checks with all those uh, ledgers. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in a deduct. Yes, basically, from basically, that. Basically, yeah. so yeah. so that's the difference between the traditional and the digital. Yes. So one is centralized. Oh, yeah. 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 Decentralized. So what, what is the purpose behind that? The purpose behind it is mm -hmm. mostly to buy digital stuff. Like in NFTs, because most NFTs, uh, those are non-fungible tokens. Mm -hmm. Most NFTs are bought via Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Specifically. So so, so if one wants to get into, before we get into NFT, that's another term. Mm -hmm. So before we get into NFT, so Bitcoin, someone wants to get into cryptocurrency first. So what are the, what are some of the options? About what are the approaches? You can get into trading Bitcoin mm -hmm. so or cryptocurrency, mm -hmm. or you can go into mining. So Those. there's mining and uh, trading. Yes. Uh -huh. So let's start with trading. Trading. Now, uh, trading has uh, different approaches. There is day trading, there is range trading, and there is scalping. Mm -hmm. Now, day trading is where you are trading for a, a specific day. You may have done orders for uh, hundreds of orders within hours or minutes of that day. Before we get into day trading and all that, because we haven't still gotten how it works, how does Bitcoin work? basically i'm too i mean yeah one is fresh from you know the world <laughs> you don't know about uh how crypto cryptos work mm -hmm. so how do you get into it how does it work before you get into scalping and all you that? you first uh, create your account like mm -hmm. you just go to a bank and create account and something of the sort create your account so you create uh okay uh -huh, yeah. account now, how do you create that account that account there are some specific uh, exchange places to do that like um, bit binance mm -hmm. uh, coinbase unstoppable mm -hmm. there is vault so you go to the trading platform mm -hmm. and then you create the account yes mm -hmm. and after that after the, you create an account it will give you an automatic wallet with a very unusual address. How to shika your address si kudanganya. Hata uko genius kesi. Gandi your address utashika. And then it will give you a passcode of 12 words. Mm -hmm. Within those 12 words, it will always ask you for a different maybe 6 or 5 words every time. Mm -hmm. So maybe it will be a number 1, number 7, number 12, number oh. 5, number 5, number 3. You have any security measure? You have any security measure. Okay. And then after that, it will ask you to activate two-step two verification. Mm -hmm. This is where you pa put in your password in your website, so you can use it. And then it will send you an OTP, one-time password onto your phone. Your number of line will be able It will never repeat itself. So you put it there, or you can use Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator for the SIM. It will be here. You can log into your account and that information is only for you. Where to join exist. So you have a, your account ready. Mm -hmm. You've gone to the trading platform, you've created your account, you've gotten your password and everything. Mm -hmm. So now what after that? What next? After that, now you can fund your account. You can fund your account via maybe PayPal mm -hmm. or Skrill. Currently there is actually a funding called Crypto. It even mm -hmm. gives you a, bank, a, a card. So this is, okay, funding my account means paying for my account. Yes, like you add cash into your account. Mm -hmm. In a bank, lazima kukwe na book balance kwa bank. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. yes, this is the same situation. Lazima kukwe na cash inside there for you to trade because wezi ingi ya na zero, na we expect kununua kitu ya two dollars, na uone ni kauta get away with the situation. You okay. really can't do that. So the cash is for trading? Yeah. Right. So how does it work? Ni kama stock markets, how does, how does it work? Uh, when we were in high school, tulifanya probability. Mm -hmm. It's a 50-50 situation. It's the worst word to use. It's like betting. <laughs> okay, okay, All right. The best word to betting. use it's basically like, it's, it's like stock. Mm -hmm. So you buy when it's very low. Mm -hmm. You sell when it's very high. So it's like the stock market. Yes. And kuna uh, risk in a shuka. So you go on a loss. Yeah. Okay. So how much does do I need for funding my account? Around 50k Kenya shillings, which is $500. So 50k, you know, initial. Yeah. I funded my account. Now I can start. Yeah. 
So do I start with that? It, it turns automatically, um, uh, there's something else that is needed because I hear there's a boat, a robot <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> now, uh, if you want to add the fact that you want to put a boat there, you have to buy the boat first. So I've funded my account, now I need to buy a boat. Yes. So how much is the boat? Cheap side, $500. $500 is, is around 50k, around 50, mm. 55. So 55k, I've yeah. started with around the same money, 50k, and then I also need 50k for buying the, you know, that's the cheapest price for that's, a boat. That's the, like the bare minimum. The bare minimum. The size of a particular boat, maybe in Matano. So with that 50k, you're going to buy it. So what I do, I continue with my business. If I have, you know, then the job, I go to my, my workplace. This board does the bidding for me and all that. Yeah. Now, when I open my account, I find my figures are going up and everything. Yes. Uh -huh. But point of disclaimer, mm -hmm. these boards are used best, best on a long-term situation. Come mm -hmm. six months, one year, if you're that kind of a trader, kazi for extremely long time kabla kuje kuchukua returns we see over 40 bob 50 bob every day you know also oh, it's better when they it takes a longer time yes okay and then what next sasa? then sasa so, 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 you let it do its work you give it some parameters because they are set on factory defaults and you may want your own default so you give them some parameters mm -hmm. when they can't go high when the, it goes higher than something they can't any buy when it goes lower than something they can't sell something of the sort Okay, so you were, okay, uh, back to the day trading and all that. Yeah. So you know the time, time, time frame. Yes. So tell us about those time frames. I understand there are three. Yes, there are uh -huh. three. There is a day trading. Day trading. Yes, which is actually a strategy, not a time frame, mm -hmm. where you get, when there's a trade between one hour to 24 hours, mm -hmm. before you get trade, you can go and then you do another day, you the same, same work. But it gives you trickles of cash. When you get a pizza, you can get $2. $2. So, you can pay cash. Like, you can pay pocket, pocket change. Yeah. Uh -huh. the next, the, the then there one? is range trading, which mm -hmm. usually goes to maybe up to a month, two months, which gives you a higher payout. Mm -hmm. It is actually way higher. It's a notable profit payout. Okay. Yeah. And the third one. And the third one? one is scalping. Scalping now, you also know, actually, bots define your career. Most of the time, we only engage with one stock exchange we like now. Mhm. We only come a Bitcoin. Come on. As at Jana, I'm Jana. Come eleven. Bitcoin is equal forty-five thousand dollars. By the time Nikilala was sick, it equal forty-three thousand dollars. That's a drop. Mhm. Mm and that drop is actually very significant to when to the bots when they're doing the the trading for you and scalping because they they will it will reduce the amount of profit you are supposed to get. Mm -hmm. Or in the event Mtuka Elon Musk amwe anaskia kusema kitu mbaya tena, iteremke mpaka so, zero tena. <laughs> Ebu tuambi about you because you were in Bitcoin at yeah. some point and then you left. Yes. So what happened exactly? Nilingia Bitcoin fiti, mi ni mi ni minor, ama minor. So mimi na ku trade is is a no go zone. I actually sell to the bots and then the bots mine so, for you okay, for so trade so. for you guys. Mm -hmm. So minili in gia vizuri I was mining nicely Bitcoin ilikuwa ime ime cruise vizuri ime fika six million and then Elon Musk decided Dogecoin is the thing and he will buy fifteen hundred Bitcoins and then give them for free. <laughs> so even though ikashuka ilishuka di three hundred k Kenya shillings. Wow. Even though that's how volatile it is, yes. you can't be sure with it. So upon the money fifty-fifty. And ilika ni kanga lenga sema iki tu ikshuka ivi. The next time mtu ata sema kitu ofala si tenda di zero. Tafika zero. So kusoma chuo di chuo jema kama. Ah pana. Wacha wacha <laughs> checki we wacha wacha i machine ni tu mika sava ku office instead. <laughs> iki story ni mwa. Iki story ni ishi apu. So I sold na ni kwa chana na story yuko. Okay. Yeah. So tell us about uh, mining. We have learned about the trading bit. Mm -hmm. Basically, you buy it when it's low. So Bitcoin at some point when it started, it was less than $10, $10. around less than a thousand Kenyan shillings. Yes. Afu size, it's trading at... Uh, 43,000, which is around 4.3 million. So it's trading at 4.3 million. So mimi ni kitaka kuingia Bitcoin sahi, mm -hmm. to buy one Bitcoin ni kingia, I'll have to buy kulipa 43 million. No, 4.3 oh, million. Oh, sorry, 4.3 million Kenyan yes. shillings. Yes. So now, if I want to start trading, what coin should I buy? As in, what, what coin should I start with? Start with maybe Ethereum. 
-hmm. if you have the kind of cash because you're around 300k mm -hmm. or go lower start with a uh, neo coin mm -hmm. neo coin is it's around 114 dollars mm -hmm. or you could go lower there is litecoin litecoin is 2900 like ni 2300 so, so you it's affordable na more uki buy light coins the more they stack up now they get into bitcoin territory bitcoin. but yeah. that is also another gamble because i'm not sure if it's a pick misery yeah. so it's it's a risk that i should it's a risk that you should be willing to take mm -hmm. yeah. and tell me about the african coin last day i think it was launched the 10 the 10 the 10, 10 coin 10 coin how reliable is this Mimi Nikama, I want to support Africa. Where? <laughs> <So, Well. laughs> how reliable is it? Ukajaribu kununoyo kitu utako umuma inje vibaya. Wow, 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 wow. Ningori. Like, ningori, like high value. It is zero. Mm -hmm. like, yesterday I was checking it out. It was 0, 0.00. Ilikuwa na zero nune. No, ilikuwa zero sita before one. So, ya, yeah, kuna kitu so, na kuna eh, triable. Eh, utako umuma inje vibaya sana. Okay. And so it has a token, the tokens that have been let out to the public around 10 trillion. Mm -hmm. Na ata hizo 10 trillion has in a value. Has in a value. So, hakuna chance and yeah, that coin will peak after... Is in as a peak. But after a long time. A really long time. Because considering Ethereum ilikuwa at 0 0.0005 mm -hmm. as a 2020. Mm -hmm. Size equal 300k. That is $3,000. So what if someone, you know, from the tech world, maybe in Kenya or Africa, you know, Kama Elon Musk <laughs> comes and says, I want, I will buy from the, the African coin. So, you mm -hmm. a probability yake ya kupik. Mse mwenye akona a lot of uh, financial presence, mm -hmm. kama Forbes, mkituka akina dangote, mm -hmm. watukao wakanunua, ita shoot, ita very shoot high. Alaka. Ah, okay. So you, okay. That is the way to go. <laughs> so now tell us about mining. So kuna mtu mwenye trading, maybe I don't know, uh-uh, but I can do mining. So tell us about it. It feels easier, but it's not. It's harder than... It's trading. harder. It's mm -hmm. way harder. Like, ile ni kazi ngumu. Ile, ile, ile ni... You, will, you may have to actually resign your job to do this. So, okay. You know, you, that's the first difference. In Guinea, you can do your job as... Yeah, yes. the, the boat does the work for you. Yes. Here you have to quit your job to do it. Why? You also need skill as well. You may need to quit your job because you need time dedicated to it. Before you actually start mining, you need to build a machine. For those who can't buy the machines, you need to build one. Mm -hmm. Building one requires you to be there and have skill. How is it? And I don't graphics card. Flani I don't know what they are doing. It's there you who specific. knows. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are some specific graphics cards that are used for... I'm about to go technical now. <laughs> Take a slow. Take a slow. For, okay. Graphics card kuna NVIDIA and AMD. Mm -hmm. Those are the two current leading yeah. graphics card producers. Now, NVIDIA, the recommended one is 1080. Mm -hmm. No, 2080, not 1080. 1080 is mm -hmm. 2080 is the recommended one. And for uh, AMD, um. it was Radeon 9X. Mm -hmm. It is as powerful as they come. Okay. So basically, this mach you need a powerful machine yes. to get into mining. And these machines, how much do they cost? A, a rough initial investment to buy all these parts, to buy the cooler, because these machines need to be cooled. 24-7. Because they got a heavy processing going yeah, on, yeah. right? So how much, basically, you know, a rough estimate? 500K up. 500K? Yes. Okay, to start with it. So how do you work? Once you have built the machine, a machine mm -hmm. will always need to run on operating system. Mm -hmm. Normal computers need Windows. Mm -hmm. That is okay. Because Windows unachezanga game, unachifungwaga VLC, you call YouTube, you're good. Uh -huh. But when you go into Bitcoin mining, if you decide to use Windows, there is a specific software. In it was Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to use it for anything else, you can give it a dedicated operating system for Bitcoin mining. In it was Hive, Hive oh. OS. Okay. So I want to understand the concept of mining. Tunajua mining ingine, gold mining, you have a mine, so you mine, you get the gold. Mm -hmm. So how now are you mining for bit Bitcoin? It's the same aspect. It's mm -hmm. the same thing. When you're starting to mine, you're on the surface, like where we've got to happen, like ground level. Mm -hmm. 
when the machine keeps running now you're digging for it when you first the get you you will first get ona vile before fike kwa gold kuna kwa gana utu to minerals flange na kwanga huku juu yes yes bas utu to minerals flange kuku juu ni litecoin litecoin mm -hmm. yes and those ones zina kwa gain trickle so that part a twingi mm -hmm. but before ufike kwa hiyo bitcoin if you don't have a powerful machine unaweza kapo 21000 years wow so the, the the more powerful the easier it will be for yes. you so kisha pata hiyo bitcoin sasa kisha pata hiyo bitcoin mm -hmm. now you now have you now because you you have to have an, an account for you to do this mm -hmm. to answer it's, yeah. it's 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 there's no to, there's no way around that so you have to have an yako. account yes now for you to you now from your account for you to get a payout you have to sell mhm mm utauza bitcoin moja street na to kiuza hautauzia binafsi mtu bots ndo zitakuwa zinakujia so pia unatumia bots yes mhm mm so the bots pia you have paid for the bots no I, personally i hadn't paid for the bots i built mine or you built yours because you are a developer yes so for someone you know mana you need a particular set of skills so mimi nikiingia bila you know if i don't have the skills i can't do mining i can only do trading yes okay lakini kama maybe una skills but you can buy the bot can you do it if you can buy the bot why not nunua zote kama unataka and then <laughs> that makes it easy for yes. you yes so how much between trading and mining gani ndiko na pesa mining kuna pesa ah because you do the hard work you do the hard work uh -huh. You, when you go kwa e situation yenye you regulate how much these guys will buy at mhm mm unaona okay. saizi kuna wale minus wenye ni mabigi tu yani majuu mm -hmm. unapata mtu anakutoka na payout after a month payout ya 6 million mm -hmm. kenya shillings okay like ameenda home hivyo and na ye, machine yake ndio ilikuwa inafanya kazi unaweza kutata ye ni gamer mm -hmm. machine yake ndio ilikuwa inafanya kazi then there is that Okay. So as we you know as we come to a close uh -huh. tell us about would you advise someone to get into bitcoin mtu amekosa job you know we are, uh, so many youths don't have jobs so I mean after job business paying yani so is bitcoin the way to go if i have maybe the 50000 initial fee i can buy about a 50000 so roughly i have 100000 is it advisable to get into cryptocurrency bitcoin or any other coin and then what do you think of kenya adapting the digital currency because this was also in the discussion paper by Central Bank of Kenya uh, for Kenya you know asking the public if we could go f you know with a digital, digital currency, currency like Nigeria when you're gonna inaya so answer these two questions as we come to a close okay so this is a 50-50 answer it is a yes and a no if you love your probabilities and you want them straight that's a no that's it's a, a no, no. It's, a, it's an outright no because well you you don't want to fall into a situation where how could you like umeshikilia tu hati yako 24/7 ipesa ikiteremka mimi kuisha school mazee hakuna rent hakuna nini unaona eh uh, ka betting ndio hiyo mm -hmm. but then again if you're that person who takes risks and is okay with just taking risks chukua enda mm -hmm. you will be okay you will be very okay with it uh -huh. now the other question ya Kenya adopting digital currency mm -hmm. the, the central bank of Kenya adopting digital currency I would say yes. Yes 100% yes. Why? Because very many people have crypto. Mm -hmm. But they can't change it into Kenyan currency yet because one it's illegal in Kenya. It is illegal, yes. So, it's illegal but uh, we actually rank number 5 as the most active, you know, country in crypto. Nini ni wa Kenya wafanya ngi? Si ni wale wa say. Do you? So if we adapt it it will be good for us. Yes. Because one we have the backup of the you know Central Bank of Kenya so it's like more eh itageuka legal, itageuka stronger, mm -hmm. itafanya the current economical situation iteremke. Mm -hmm. History ya fuel inachezea 134 sije kuna venya kuna waru kwa duka you know. Mhm. Mm vitu zote everything will have to come back to a uh, let me reset situation because people will know that it's not only Kenya shillings that is being used to purchase stuff okay. anymore. Yeah. All right, so it will help our economy. Precisely. That's what you're saying. Tell us about your leadership forum as you tell us where the guys can get you to Kifunga. Aha, uh -huh. my leadership forum mm -hmm. is actually not mine. That's my mom's leadership forum. Mm -hmm. uh, we started a forum where men are taught how to actually be men. Unajua hapa vinje 
men have started acting like baby girls. Man, I'm fine, Jay. What are you? What are you doing? Like on a serious note, unamkaji unatoka kuwako like because girl child ame fanya kitu sa unachukua vitu unaenda. Wewe ndio mwenye nyumba unaenda wapi? Oh, usitoke. Usitoke. Uh, fanya hivi. Kaa chini, ongea na dem. It's not simping. Ongea na dem. Respect her. She will respect you. Mm -hmm. Be the father of the home. Provide for that home. Sherehe ni ya nini na kwako watu wa wakuli. Okay. Yeah. So so um we usually meet a, f a fort fortnight Saturdays mm -hmm. at Sunstar Hotel, Pale Garden Estate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The charges are only uh, 2500. Okay. Yeah, per session. Uh, where can people get you? Um niko na Instagram. Instagram yangu ni Keith Blessings, Keith underscore Blessings underscore. Mm -hmm. uh, there is Twitter, the same. There is Facebook, Keith Blessings. Okay, thank you, thank you for uh, coming on board and sharing you know, this amazing insights on blockchain and cryptocurrency. Uh, yeah, that has been Keith Baraka, who's the CEO and uh, founder of Pizzatech Technology, talking to us about blockchain and cryptocurrency. I hope now you know better about this particular technology. Uh, we take a short break and we'll be back with Kalami Val.